this treehouse that I'm at today is on a whole nother level. It honestly feels like a very luxurious hotel to me at times. It's the only Airbnb I've visited so far on the channel that has a perfect five-star rating on Airbnb. That is incredibly difficult to do. They have over 200 reviews. It's one of the top-ranked properties in the entire country. Let's go and find out why. Welcome to the front entrance of this stunning tiny home tree house. Over here on the right hand side, there is this long fence and it's filled to the brim with a ton of these really beautiful decorations. But let's now begin to approach the front gate. It's super unique. If you take a closer look right here, you'll notice that it's made up of all of these glass bottles. Love the design on this thing. Let's now walk through the gate and you'll catch your first glimpse of the exterior of the treehouse. On the right side, you have this table that has a few really cool artistic pieces. And now as we pan, you'll get a better idea of the layout of this place and all of the deck space, which wraps around the entirety of the treehouse. Now over here on the left, that ramp leads to the front entrance. Let's now go to the right down this path first to check out all of the incredible exterior amenities. It has a lot to offer. This is the main outdoor space. Before I break it down in more detail though, right underneath the treehouse, you have this lovely swinging day bed. And then right above the day bed, you have these really beautiful, unique and intricate artistic pieces. It's a really great spot to hang out. Let's now head down these stairs though to the main outdoor area, past some of your tables and chairs, the sofa, the fire pit, and then here on the far end is your very private and secluded hot tub. Let's now quickly switch gears though and focus on the main front exterior you see right here. And just look at this beauty. It gets even better later in the day when everything's all lit up. You have those interior lights on, all the deck lights and your fire pit going. You have just this orange glow that goes everywhere and it's truly magical. These videos I think just don't do it justice. You seriously have to book this place and experience it all in person. But now let's continue on. We still have a lot more to cover. I'll finish up in this space. You have the fire pit, which is gas powered. It's super easy to operate. You have this cute little table then. And there are just plants and cushions. Just everything was so well thought out in my opinion. I think the owners did an incredible job at decorating this space both inside and out. Also behind the hot tub, you'll notice another outdoor space, which I'll get to a little bit later. But I think that will do it for this area. So let's now begin to go inside. To get there, we're going to walk up this long ramp, which is located back towards the front entrance when we first came in. But now we'll swing to the right and you'll catch your first glimpse of the main door, which leads inside to the treehouse. Also over there on the right, you have this lovely sitting area. And then we'll begin to approach the door and this door actually dates back to the 1800s. But that's everything for the exterior. I think it's now time to head on inside. Welcome to the main room in the interior. The treehouse is basically split into just two rooms, but every room is filled with a lot of different things we need to explore. This is now from the other angle, looking back towards the door that we just walked in, just to give you a better idea of the wide open space in the entire layout. Let's start first with the bed though. It's very eye-catching, very bright pink. This place is definitely meant to be romantic and for couples. You have a ton of pillows though. Then this stunning headboard, I definitely think it had to be custom made. Then waiting for you on the bed, you have your guidebook and some beautiful flowers, which I thought was a very nice touch. To the left of the bed, you have a nice nightstand, a lamp and some photos. There's even two chocolates on top of this table. On the opposite side of the bed is another table with this cute sign. And underneath you have some lovely gifts. You have some stickers and some cards and the name of the property is Sulphur Ridge. Let's now switch gears from the bed area towards the entry wall. And you have a little kitchenette area here. The owners were incredibly generous. They packed this with a ton of free stuff and appliances for a space this size. Over here on the left, you have a toaster, actually two toasters now, another in the middle, and then some more coffee and tea supplies over here on the right. A lot of it is locally roasted. 
Next, in this box from a nearby shop, the owners left some muffins and pastries. You also have a nice little tea shelf here, and just a ton of other stuff ranging from breakfast supplies to utensils. Let's now face the main windows and you'll see all this gorgeous natural light streaming in. It's really a breathtaking sight. This is all taken in the afternoon. These are definitely floor to ceiling windows though. They're really tall and you truly just feel like you were up in the trees. This is your cute little dining table. And now if we walk a little further down past the windows, you'll come to this sitting area. You have these two comfy chairs here. Then on that little table, actually, there is an award. And that is actually an Emmy award that one of the owners won for their work with Fox Sports and NASCAR. Let's now back up from all the windows though to check out the last space in this main area. So against this wall, there's essentially another little mini kitchenette over here on the left side. So I'll start there. You have this lovely black refrigerator and some drink making supplies. We get a little bit closer though. Again, hosts are super generous. You have all these drinks. None of this was mine at all. And right above that, you have some cocktail making supplies right here. Actually, these really high end glasses. I thought they were pretty fancy. Right above that, there are two shelves with some glasses and some decorations. And right next to that is perhaps the most unique amenity. It's an old school jukebox. So many other Airbnbs have these cheap record players. This takes it up a notch. And there are so many different types of music to pick from. You won't get bored. Let's now go behind the jukebox and enter into one of the nicest bathrooms I've ever been in. It is ultra luxurious in my mind, very fancy from the gold to the stained glass to the bathtub, all top of the line. To get the ball rolling, let's walk to this far side. You have the toilet and a bathrobe on that hanger. There's then also a few shelves here, which has a ton of toiletries and bathroom supplies, ranging from toothbrushes to Advil to Q-tips. Next up, let's go and check out this incredible double sink space. Again, it's very over the top and gold and luxurious like the rest of the bathroom. It honestly feels more to me like an ultra luxurious five-star hotel than an Airbnb at times. Even this sink right there is really crazy. And then in the middle of these two mirrors, you have this really stunning gold decoration with some statues and angels. There are gold elements all over this bathroom from the hangers to the towel racks to the logo on the bathrobes. Next, one of the key features in this bathroom is this breathtaking bathtub. Just look at this thing. It feels honestly like it is straight out of a movie to me. You have this little tray as well with a bath bomb and some lovely red roses, but it doesn't get much better than this. I also love the stained glass window right next to the bathtub. Last but not least, this is your very spacious shower in the final corner. You have all of your shampoo, conditioner, and everything you need. But let's now exit the bathroom because there is one final space to show you. To get there, we'll go right next to the sitting area through this door and it'll take us back outside quickly. And this over here is what I want to point out. That is called the side shack. And it also gives you a nice view back towards the hot tub area. But now we'll kind of wrap around this little deck space. There's string lights again all throughout this entire area. And this is what the side shack looks like from the exterior. We just pop inside here. I won't spend a ton of time. We have a grill and plenty of seating options. Thanks for checking out my tour guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. My playlists are linked out down below and I'll catch you next week for another Airbnb tour.